Okay. So now we take a problem on calculation. of simple interest now even before we get into this discussion what is more important is to understand what do you mean by simple interest now many a time in life what happens is that we want to buy certain things so let's say R, or let's say Robin, wanted to buy a house which was costing him 100,000 bucks. Now 100,000 is a big amount and Robin realized that he has only, he owns only 50,000 bucks. So what he needed was another 50,000 in order to be able to buy this house. Now where does Robin get this money from is the question. So Robin decided that there is a bank, XYZ bank, in the nearby locality and the bank is ready to lend him this 50,000 bucks. So Robin went to the bank and asked them to give him this money, which is called lending. The bank said, okay, we will give this to you, money to you, but we will charge interest at the rate of 10% per annum on rupees 50,000. Now there are a couple of variables here that you need to understand. So there are a couple of variables which are here. The first one is the amount borrowed. But this amount borrowed is also known as principal. This is not the school principal. This is the amount he has borrowed. Now the second element which is involved here is interest. Now interest basically he has to borrow at 10% per annum. Now we know how to convert this into a fraction. We divide this number by 100 and multiply. So basically first thing is 10% per annum. So what will be the quantum? So 10% is this. So 10% of 50,000. We have converted this 10 into fraction into 50,000. Right? So one zero struck, two zero struck. So the interest that he has to pay is 5,000 rupees per annum. So every year he has to pay 5,000 rupees to the bank as interest. Now the total amount payable is equal to what? He has to repay the amount that he borrowed which is rupees 50,000 he has to pay the interest so suppose the total amount payable we have to compute how much is the amount payable by him at end of one year is equal to how much is the principal sum that he has borrowed the principal plus the interest and that interest is 5,000 so this amount payable by him is also called as amount in mathematical parlance. You just call it as amount. And amount is basically equal to what? It is equal to principal plus interest. So this was the concept of simple interest. Now let us take one problem on simple interest. Suppose Jack borrowed fifty. Okay, let me change the amount. We've already considered fifty thousand earlier. Forty thousand rupees at the rate of twelve percent per annum 
simple interest. Calculate interest he has to pay at end of year one. Let's see the solution. How much is the amount Jack borrowed? So interest is what we have to compute. Interest is equal to how much? 12% per annum of 40,000. Why? Because he's borrowed 40,000, so he pays 12% on 40,000. So we know how to convert this into a decimal. We just divide it by 100 into 40,000. So 4,800 is the answer. If you multiply this 400, this number which is left, by 12, you will get 4,800. Now this was the case if the interest was to be calculated for one year. Suppose if instead of one, the question said that how much is the interest that he has to pay at the end of two years. We know that it is simple interest. There is something called compound interest also, but I will take you through that separately. So when you have simple interest, what you do is you compute the interest for one year and then you multiply it by number of years. So interest at the end of two years will be 4800 into two. So basically you multiply the annual interest by the number of years. So if instead of 2, this was 3, you would have multiplied this by 3. If it was 4, you would have multiplied it by 4 and so on.